When men were men, what the fuck happened? They literally drank at breakfast, drank at lunch, drank at dinner. Now they tell me, and I didn't partake in this, the guys together were running back and forth with each other, doing fucking each other. Now, I don't know that because I didn't partake in that. But I do know that's when we had a, a Harvard doctor masturbate on the fucking snooker table, fell off and broke his leg. I do know that. This is where men were men. Now I'm beating off on the goddamn snooker table. I don't know if that's an <laughs> indication that anything. I'm taking a shower, and Anna, God love her, she's retired now, knocking on the door, knocking on the phone. She went by my first door, into my private door, and she's, eh, oh, what's wrong, what's wrong? She said, we got a problem, we got a problem, boss. So I come to the door, I got a towel around my waist. She said, we got a problem, boss, we better get up in the snooker room now. Why? And then she looks down, the universal look down, <laughs> and I go, well, what is it? Dr. So-and-so, I'm thinking to myself, trying to pot, Harvard, educated medical doctor. What could be so bad? He masturbated on the um, snooker table. No fucking way. <laughs> she says, yeah. I said, well, clean it up. She says, nobody will clean it up. Nobody will clean it up. I said, don't be telling me that shit. We're going to be having a new staff tomorrow. <laughs> you know what I mean? And then she says, but it's worse than that. Now, uh, how can it be worse than that, right? He fell off and broke his leg. And it's worse than that. Okay. How can it be worse than that? He won't call uh, 999 the paramedics to come and get him because he wants to rock and roll. He's not missing this. So what are we doing? I'm trying to think, who's sneaking outside the box here to get this fucking thing? <laughs> One of the guys that was at the seminar was a, a carpenter, a joiner, and he made him a splint. And the guy just partied all fucking night anyway while I was fucking in a splint, <laughs> drunked up. Now that was the 90s. Now look at you. What a fucking sad com. And look at you, you cunt. Now speaking of cunts, we got a guy named Kanye West, not a real Kanye West, some kind of pretend one, who's, who's, uh, who's, 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 sl who's slagging me off. I don't know if he's black or he's not black, but he's got a black little picture, and I, you know, if the, whether that's his picture. And he said that, uh, he says, uh, I'm not tough. And I told him, I invited him to come to the castle gate. And I would rip his head off and shit down his neck. That's an open invitation, asshole. Come on. This is a 71-year-old guy. Come on. Let's, you know, let's see if you got any testes. Um, and so they're arguing whether I'm worth $150 million or $950 million or $50 million. And uh, they're trying to trace back. Um, <laughs> what does it matter? Just like you guys Google me, you know more, you know which hand, maybe you don't know which hand I wipe my ass with. Just so you know, I wipe it with my right hand. <laughs> it's on the record. Oh, it's on the record. <laughs> and I didn't realize fat people have trouble wiping their ass. I didn't know that. I never thought of it. But if you, uh, I, now that I think about it, you know, fat people, I mean, you know, when you're, well, a couple of you might have a stretch to reach your ass. But anyway, fat people have trouble. I didn't know that. And how did I know that? A couple, few seminars ago, a fat person brought me a deal. And it was a fat person wipe your ass deal. So they, they could wipe their ass easier. I said, are you fucking me? Is this for real? And apparently fat people have, have trouble getting their hand on to wipe their ass. I mean, you can't make this shit up. Truth is stranger than fiction. And so then the morons, the mongoloids, the retards, are fighting it out, and then every once in a while one of the retards will, will defend me. Thank you, okay? Um, and, the, um, and there's a guy, uh, and I don't know if he's Muslim or not, but he got a Muslim name. And he says, excuse me for being a doofus. When they start the fucking thing like that, you know something ain't right. And he wants to know about, um, uh, I don't remember, I blocked it out already, something about uh, uh, emotional intelligence, or, or what does that mean to me? And I, it, it doesn't matter, kids. Don't look at my YouTube. It's, it's all on my website for free. But come January 1, there's going to be a disclaimer that can stretch from here to Aberdeen. And if you don't sign off on the disclaimer, you're not going to get in my site for anymore. I'm not selling anything, but you will not get into my site. And unfortunately, about 40 to 50 
55% of all the people on my site on a monthly basis are repeats because they're going back to read the shit. We have people that are on my site 200, more, more than 200 times a month. Well, you're not going to, unless you fill out the disclaimer, and it's not, if you fill out the disclaimer once, that's, you, have to, you have to sign off on it every fucking time you use the site. Because we got people, I'm, I told you the reason yesterday, and so uh, uh, my lawyers are fucking bug fuck about it. And about four or five years ago, I spent 140 grand defending myself against something I didn't do. But somebody used my name. Wanna use? Then bring you, then bring you my mentor. It's a QLA, QLA, QLA. So I stole the guy's money, QLA showed me how to do it. And I had to defend myself. It cost $140,000 for me to defend myself, something I did not do. Because a weak cunt like you, then bring you, then bring you, made me do it. I never had those problems in the 90s. Not one fucking time. Not once. And somebody else that says to me, some fucking moron, when I said that uh, November 8th was the end of the, the, what do you call it, the financial crisis, and he lists a bunch of shit why it isn't. And <laughs> oh, then we got a bunch of global warming assholes. <laughs> and now listen to me. Since none of you have been to the South or North Pole like I have, I'm bipolar. I've been to both motherfuckers. And I got married on both of them to my current wife, God love her. But at the South Pole, when we were there for the uh, uh, millennia, millennium of um, Centuria, the 100th anniversary of the discovery of the South Pole by Amundsen, and it was a big celebration. And there's a big, big science um, building there that costs about 400 million bucks. Of course, Who's stupid enough to pay for it? Americans. Anyway, 17 countries are buying, all claim the South Pole. Sweden, Russia, what the fuck they got to do with South Pole? Because of the minerals. They think they're there underneath the mountaintop. So we're down there for the deal. It was uh, December 13th, five years ago, six years ago. And all the scientists, all the weirdos, like fucking Fiddler on the Roof here, are out and they're giving us um, you know, presentations about the snow, and most people don't know it's on a mountaintop, yada, yada, yada. And, uh, and about half the people are suffering from um, oxygen deprivation because it's a mountain. Anyway, and we got a couple experts in here about oxygen deprivation, which we'll let them explain to you what that means later. Um, and so a guy looks like Einstein, got hair like this, wearing flip-flop nuts, 40 fucking below zero with no windshield. Flip-flops, um, boxer uh, shorts, underwear, and a T-shirt that says something about like Che Guevara or some bullshit T-shirt. He's standing there, and they're showing us um, samples, core samples that they've taken from uh, the South Pole. And he gets to about the fifth core sample, and it's about as tall as I am. And he said, and uh, 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 900,000 years ago, uh, it was this cold, and... Nah, 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 nah. And 55,000 years ago, it was two degrees warmer Celsius than it is today. Then he goes, hey, 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 stop, 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 stop. Hey, Einstein, let's go back to that 55,000 years. What degree of probability do you attribute that 55, uh, 100%? Ah, and then the other scientists start yanking and shit. Nah, 98%. It's, but he says it's in the first standard deviation from the mean. And I ain't going to go to that because you're too stupid. I'm not going to explain to you what the fuck that means. Anyway, but that means almost 100%. And he said, uh, so you mean it was warmer 55,000 years ago than it is today? Oh, yeah, everybody knows that. I look around the room, and all the polar explorers know that. The only ones that don't know, you cocksuckers, are you morons on YouTube. Two degrees Celsius warmer. 55 fucking thousand years ago. And then I said, God bless Al Gore. I wish I'd thought of this scam. God damn. Because Al's made two, three hundred million bucks off it. Former vice president of the United States. So you go carry your placards, that's how they say it here, and march around the embassy with holes in your fucking jeans. But there's a, there's a, there's a debate going on my YouTube about this. 
If you got time to debate global warming on my YouTube, you ought to fuck. No, I'm not going to say that. <laughs> I'm not going to say what you ought to do to yourself. Yeah, and disclaimer. I'm going to wait till January and put the disclaimer. <laughs> you ought to blow your fucking brains out. <laughs> Don't they have anything better to do? The answer is no. And that's why they're losers. Now, all the other guys that are in the high performance business, if you call it that, think just like I do, but they won't tell you because they want to sell you some shit. That's like you don't tell uh, you know, uh, a girl that you're trying to fuck, but once you get her clothes off, her ass is a little too big. You don't tell her that. Because you have other intentions other than honesty. <laughs> But, I mean, we had some real rip snorters last night. on, um, And then we, they complain because Kat, who's behind that camera, holds to read the comments instead of just putting up, she reads the comments. And, um, and so some guy's complaining that uh, she was holding 10 or 11 comments before the release. And uh, it's not Kat's highest priority to list your fucking comments on my YouTube channel. Uh, so whenever she does it. Uh, but they're bitching about that. And, uh, but they got nothing better to do. And the guys that have big, big followings on YouTube, I mean like hundreds of thousands of people, even millions, I, I can't imagine, uh, like um, Brian's got about 250,000 people on his YouTube channel. He has hundreds and hundreds, thousands of comments. Of course, he doesn't read any of them. I read some every once in a while, but, um, What's, what's with her life? And thank you for complimenting me on the good content and the, and the free content. Uh, that's fine. That's all great, kid, but I know that. You don't have to comment. But thank you about that shit. It doesn't mean anything to me anyway. You know, I don't get all, uh, I don't get a, uh, a chill up my leg just because, you, you know, that's, by reading these things, it's, I mean, when the Martians and whoever got uh, uh, 3,000 years from now, they, and they read this shit, because we have a time capsule in the States. It's a time capsule. We have um, the, uh, where I put all my content and all kind of shit. Uh, and when so somebody opens that in 5,000 years from now, they're going to say, boy, this place has been fucked up. Is the world fucked up? Now, some people, that, like uh, the Hawkins of the world, think that there, there, there's a high probability in all the mi billions of galaxies there's other life. But you know why they haven't come? Because they see how pathetic we are. We're such a low form of intelligence. That's why they haven't come. What possibly could they learn? Nothing. We're pathetic. And our Irish boys, I had a funeral today. And um, the, um, so otherwise he could say pathetic uh, properly. The, now, um, we're not going to discuss the uh, homework. The movie you saw last night was? Scott, the Chris Tyson interview. 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 interview okay. Did you what? Okay, so but no, weren't there a bunch of guys that talked about motivation, motivation yeah. Schwarzenegger? Yeah. Uh, okay, yeah, video yeah. guys—that's what you're talking about, yeah. And uh, they all sound the same, don't they? Yeah. They all sound the antithesis of you guys. That's the point. We got a couple of pretenders here, but for the most uh, part, they're 180 degrees different than you. And here to four, and they're about eight million degrees different than the uh, YouTubers because at least you're here. Okay, YouTube, we'll see you uh, at lunchtime. <laughs>